I use Jenny and Evan Dorset in the UK. I thought I'd pop on and do a little um, whip and chat, show you what I'm doing on my cross stitch that VIP cross stitch sent me. It's the underwater world you can find in their large section on vipcrossstitch.com and um, Ada sent it me and it's absolutely lovely. I'm really enjoying it. I've done a lot on it um, the last couple of days. I've done a lot all around there. Um, all the yellow down there I did yesterday and today I've been doing a lot of the orange on the orange. <laughs> the yellow's on the yellow and the orange is on the orange. <laughs> That's handy, isn't it? <laughs> Made me giggle. Um, you might move slightly because you're on my lap tray. Um, I've got the stand, overhead stand. I'm hoping I don't knock it, but I might do. So I say sorry now if you get punched <laughs> and that, but I was trying to stitch you in if you uh, scrunch it up. That might be better because I do like scrunching it up when I'm working on it. When I'm not using a, just trying to see if you're in, yep. When you're not on a frame, or oh, the stitching ain't on a frame, I should say. And that, but yeah, uh, Kira's a lot happier today. Her student finance finally went in, thank God. It took an age, so she's got money again. She's happy, she's paid the rent, so she's stress free. Uh, no anxiety again, so I'm pleased about that because she's been quite bad the last couple of weeks. And that, so she's uh, in every day at university. Uh, it's a bit hard going when last year you were only in what, three days. This week she's been in every day. She's like, Woo, I want to stay at the flat one night. <laughs> one, not one night, one day. <laughs> I, said, I think you'll be in every day this time. And at the moment, it's looking like she is in that, but no, she's happy now. So she could go out, not tomorrow. She thought she had Friday off, but apparently not. She's going in tomorrow. She's got some class on that apparently it lasts all day. Uh, oh, God. Uh, she's going to... Get one of them bento lunch boxes she wants to get. Um, take some pasta salads in in that because she's been eating in there. Uh, so it's going to get expensive if you do that every day. Um, so, so just make what you done last time. Get a pasta salad. Put it in your lunch box and take it in. Make a big bulk of it so it lasts you a few days. So I might do that. So five times. Five pound, five pound every time. She says it's going to build up. I went, yeah, it will do over five days. I said it didn't last year because she weren't in that long, and that was so. But yeah, so she'll probably be in town on Saturday. Hitting the craft shop, no doubt. <laughs> and that, but yeah, I'm much happier Kira today, thankfully. She's gone round her mate's house, so I could sit and binge some YouTube or TV tonight and stitch away. Uh, so Mum went to the doctors at the hospital yesterday. She's officially deaf. <laughs> Telling her it for years. Absolutely years of the same. Mum, you're deaf in both ears, not just one ear. So she's officially deaf in both ears. He's got some Hearing aids moulded into her ear. Um, she's got to go pick them up. I think I might have to go down to Dorchester with her to get those. So that would be a trip out. And that's so, but yeah, so at least she likes to look at these ones. I said, you can actually wear these ones. Because the last ones he gave her was 10 years ago. Yeah, I said, I have been nagging you to go get it redone again. <laughs> and that, but yeah. Going to go in Mum's tomorrow, take her out downtown. I sold something on eBay of Kira, so i got to get that posted. Uh, so, uh, the clutter in her room, and uh, she said we could sell that. I went, all right then. So, it's been sold. So, that was good. 
Mm, quiet. Oh, I'm really enjoying working on this one. I've done a lot on this one. Uh, really do like their kits of VIP cross stitch. I've got the London one I've been working on also. I'll be doing that one. Rotating between that one and this one and another one I'm doing. Halloween one. I'm in the mood to do a Christmas one somewhere. Uh, start looking for one and that, but yeah, doing them now. Keep seeing everyone getting them. And I'm like, oh, I like that one. I like that one. <laughs> and that, but yeah, and that. You might hear Sean Luke every now and then. He's been on loud mode for a little bit. It's quiet this morning, but. This afternoon he's got loud. I had to go down town for him yesterday for an appointment. Uh, I did that yesterday. Uh, what else did I do? I went into Lidl's. Quick run round shop. Cheapest shop I've ever done in there. Don't normally spend a small amount in there. <laughs> So I was quite pleased with that one. Uh, I'll go in town with mum tomorrow, see if she wants to do Liddles because she hadn't been in for a while. She was talking about it earlier that she wouldn't mind going in. Hmm. On bar. Let's see if she wants to do Tesco's. She's on her own now, she does a lot of microwave or other meals now. She don't cook so much now. And that, but she said it's cheaper for her to do it that way. Right. Got there. I'm gone over here. They had some roasts in Morrison's in the freezer section. Three for five pound. And she gave me the lamb one to try. Put it this way, I'll be buying it. <laughs> it was really nice. Uh, I said, that was yummy. She said, oh, good. I said, I'll get it again. Because surely you won't eat a roast. Today we done gammon in the air fryer. I saw a thing on TikTok. Because um, we watch TikTok a lot in the evening. Me and Charlotte sit up in, the, up in bed. And it calms him down for a bit. And we watched TikTok, I've said this before. And um, yeah, there was a lot of recipes on there he likes to look at. And this gammon one, they cooked it. And then cooked it again. I couldn't remember the timings of it, but I did it 20 minutes and then I did it 20 minutes again. Tuck it over. And then I slit it and put some honey in the middle. Oh, oh, oh. that was nice. I really liked that. Uh, yeah, I've got a big joint of gammon, so I'll be cutting it up and putting it in a pasta salad for lunches. Or nibbling at. Yeah. So he quite likes that. Just cut the pasta, chill it down, and put whatever leftovers i uh, got in it. Uh, so today we had a chicken nugget pasta salad. <laughs> so what we had yesterday. Too many nuggets. Just chopped them all up. Get a salad dressing and put it in. It's quite nice actually. Kira did it at uni. And she told me to do it. And I, I like that. And I'm nearly running out of this thread. I don't play thread chicken. I've done quite a lot. You can see the mess of it. I've done loads. Absolutely loads. Thoroughly enjoying it. And that. But, yeah, I've got that one. Oh, there's more orange. Let's stick that in there before I lose it because that always happens. Um, but two. I've got it on me. Plastic things. I like these. Because I seem to break the other ones when it comes on the card. I think I pull it too tight. Uh, yeah, one, two. I've just extended the car for two years. 
uh, could have got a new car because Charlotte's on Pip um, for his autism and every three years you could get a new car well, you can extend the car you got. It's the first time we've done it. I thought, well, I like the car. I haven't done much mileage on it because the first year I couldn't really go out because of COVID. Uh, so it suits our needs. I said, can I extend it? So we've extended that. It's a lovely car. Uh, uh, that's what I did yesterday as well. I did that yesterday. You know, something else I did. It was either that or go traipsing around looking for another one and I was getting confused on all the different things on it. Uh, I was chatting with Kira on Messenger while she was in class. <laughs> uh, so, so I'll just extend it. And I did. So she was pleased because he likes it. Not too good for change with his autism. Pull that through. What's come out? Mm -mm. Uh, uh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, nah. Nope. No. There you go. It's in. Put it there. Went through one, didn't I? Push it down. Fudge it. <laughs> uh, that, but uh, go through the wall. Kira wants me to start watching Virgin River on Netflix, so she's out tonight um, at her mate's house, so I might put it on and just binge watch a couple of episodes she's already watched it she says it'd be like what you'd like to watch i watched her first five minutes it, it kind of reminded me of um heart of dixie uh so i thought well i'll do that watch that one of those lights just go oh no it's moved so i might watch the rest of it later uh, it's moved. Yeah. So I'm going to watch that. I need to watch... What was I watching? Selling OC. I've started that on Netflix. Um, I do that. I like watching those. Uh, See there. Yesterday I was watching a lot of a Discovery Plus. I was watching all the Ghost Hober. I watched. Oh, what was it? I was watching Jack Osborne, Homecoming Home. Uh, it's gone back to the house he was in in UK. So that was good. Really enjoyed that. Uh, episode one, so it looks like there'd be more episodes on that one. So I'd rather look see what day that comes out on. And I watched Ghost Adventures today. Um, well, I watched Screamed on Discovery Plus. It was really interesting. It's about the the film, but the real story behind it. So yeah. That was interesting. I enjoyed that they did a ghost hunt as well. They used Cindy, who's in a lot of the ghost hunting ones. She's a medium. She goes around all of them. I think she's, she's very good. I really like watching it when she's on. So, yeah, that was really interesting. The guy, I'm sure he used to be on Paranormal Cops because I rem seem to remember him being on that. Um, yeah, so I guess I like watching a lot of the ghost programs. <laughs> really 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 into it really into it so yeah so i really like it in october when they upload a lot of new programs on uh got ghost hunters to watch later i'll stick that on uh, 
it was uh, the watcher I, was, I got got it wrong when I said on the other video on YouTube um, I just watched their uh, Alcatraz debrief that they do after they've been on a ghost hunt they're funny I do like those two alright the next week this week's See, is it this week or next week? The next one looks quite good. Kira really got me into them. Uh, I do like watching Haunted Finders, their British group on YouTube. And Ghost on Trent, they do a lot with them as well. I've been watching theirs this week. <laughs> That's me most of the evenings watching ghost hunting programs. <laughs> there was one I was watching. It was quite funny. Um, not for the bloke, but he, I can't remember what it was called. He, they went into this place and he, he fell through a hole. His leg went through the hole. And on the spirit box, <laughs> ghost, the, the voice came out and said, be careful, <laughs> it's a bit late for that. <laughs> I did laugh, I found that very amusing. I thought that was funny. Uh, I told mum, she said, I gotta watch that. I gotta show her what it is. I said it was comical. And then I asked him if he was all right. <laughs> Caring ghost. <laughs> uh, that was comical, really comical. I need to watch that episode again. I can't remember who it was, it was an American one. A uh, new one I've just started watching. It came out on the recommendation list on YouTube. Uh, it just tickled me. It really did. Made me giggle. Uh, uh, uh. I watch a lot of that in the evening. That's when Kira's not on chat. And that, so, yeah. Uh, that's me, my entertainment, watching all the ghosty ones. Uh, it's been relatively quiet today. I'm going to have to go because I think my phone's dying down. It's gone bit dark on the phone but yeah Jean has been relatively quiet today he's only just started up his noises and I'm gonna go charge my phone up and I hope you're staying safe and staying well um I will put the link down for this one in the description box down below and the link to um VIP cross stitch as well they're very quick at um delivering out I really do like a lot of their stuff I've got quite a few of theirs that I'm doing and, uh, and I hope you're staying safe and staying well and I shall speak to you soon. Bye.